everybody, what is going on? Welcome to Regular Josh 1. Please make sure to hit that like button in this video. If you do, you will... You will become an official part of the Bun Bun family, I guess. I mean, I guess that's a thing now. Maybe. So, just click the like button. So, we're back to talking about Cartoon Network. For a channel that has little to nothing going on, they certainly still have a lot for me to talk about. Today, I want to talk about something that I've recently discovered and is quite interesting. I've been kind of baffled recently on how Cartoon Network's literally been having almost no new shows this year. I mean, besides Thundercats Roar, we haven't really gotten any other shows. Plus, anything new that we were seemingly going to get from them would just end up on HBO Max anyway. Honestly, I have have to wonder if Cartoon Network will even be with us for much longer. Either that or they'll no longer be a TV channel anymore and they might just be a network on HBO Max or something. I mean, that's that's kind of what seems to be happening right now. I guess at the very least, there are a couple of shows that seem to be slated to come to Cartoon Network next year. I think. We did recently get some news, however, that Cartoon Network will be getting Unicorns Warriors Eternal. This show looks very different from anything we've gotten from the network in a while, and it's kind of a surprise that they ended up deciding to pick this up. Also, it seems like it's supposedly gonna air on both HBO Max and Cartoon Network. We also had news that Tiny Toons will be making a comeback, also supposedly airing on both platforms. The show will be called Tiny Toons Luniversity. Well, all right, we'll be getting another Looney Tune-ish show, so I'm, I'm, I'll be fine with that. There were some other shows that I found that I thought were gonna be coming to Cartoon Network as well, but those are seemingly only for the international channels. Sad, because I was kind of looking forward to Elliot from Earth. But we also have another show slated to come to Cartoon Cartoon Network and HBO Max, and this one is honestly kind of a head scratcher to me. Yeah, because this one is Bat Wheels. You know, the the, the Batmobile, the the one that Batman drives. Yeah, that 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 that's getting its own show. I'm not kidding. Not only that, but the Batmobile is a kid. Yeah, it's a kid car or kid vehicle, and he's joined by the other superhero vehicles like the Batgirl Cycle, the Red Bird, the Batwing, and the Bat Truck, and... <laughs> okay, I'm sorry, but, th but th this is too weird. You got the vehicles of these superheroes, and they come together to, I suppose, stop the villainous vehicles or something? I mean, I'm, I'm not quite sure what else I need to say about this, but yeah, that's coming to Cartoon Network. It's a very interesting idea that's, um, oh, 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 you know, just got word that it's also going to be a preschool series. Well, now that all makes sense. I mean, when you think about it, preschoolers would probably eat that up, especially since it involves the vehicles of some of their favorite superheroes. So now I can forgive this show for its weirdness, for now. But this does make me question, is Cartoon Network trying to get back into the preschool programming market? Some of you guys may remember this and some of you may not. I certainly didn't, but for a time, Cartoon Network had its own preschool block called Tickle You. <laughs> it premiered in August in 2005 and ended in January of 2007. It was also the block that brought Peppa Pig into the US, so th th there, there's that. <laughs> Seeing how it only lasted a year and a couple of months, it's clear that it wasn't that much of a success. So it's very interesting to see them acquiring a preschool show as part of their upcoming shows for next year. I mean, as far as I know, they don't seem to plan on reviving Tickle You anytime soon or coming back with another preschool block. Does this mean that we'll also potentially see some more preschool programming coming to the network? Wouldn't really make much sense to only have one, would it? Honestly, this, this whole thing is kind of interesting to me. I mean, I, I have to wonder if these preschool shows are a bit more successful than they were before. I mean, that's kind of my only reasoning for as to why they would consider going back to it. I guess it is kind of interesting that Cartoon Network is the only kids channel without a preschool block right now. Why it didn't work for them before, who knows? Maybe it would fare for them better now? 
all I know is, is that Bat Wheels is a thing now, and it's weird. However, at the very least with these other shows slated to come to Cartoon Network and HBO Max, I have something to look forward to. Anyways, what do you guys think of Bat Wheels, I guess? <laughs> I would really love to know what your thoughts are on this. Let me know down in the comments. I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, hit that like button, subscribe for more content, and hit the bell to be notified on my next video. Thank you so much for watching, and remember, you're hearing it from a regular bunny in a regular world. See you next time. Thank <laughs> you.